We all know that Meghan Markle is a woman with certain tastes, a good victim narrative, and a flair for the dramatic. But above all else, there are just a few things that get her blood a pumping and her love tank full of narcissistic excitement. A good pap walk, a word salad speech with a tight grip on the microphone, and of course, any opportunity to act as a feminist warrior princess that she believes that she is. Now that Kamala Harris is running for president, will Meghan Markle risk it all? Will she risk her royal titles and once again wade into U.S. politics? You guys, we have a lot of juicy Royal Daily Tea to get through today, so you know what to do. Sit back and relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get into the Royal Daily Tea. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry never miss an opportunity to upstage the royal family, and both Harry and Meghan gave it their very best effort recently while trying to upstage Prince George's birthday. Now, our handsome prince just celebrated his 11th birthday on Monday, and of course, like clockwork, new pap pics of Meghan Markle were released with her dining out at a local Italian restaurant doing her very best Princess Diana cosplay, all the way down to the mom jeans, a crisp white t-shirt, and her Christian Dior Diana handbag. This is very sad and desperate and, of course, predictable, but then Prince Harry doubled down by announcing the Invictus Games would be returning back to the UK on Monday, Prince George's birthday. Now we know he did this knowing full well that Catherine would be releasing brand new photographs in celebration of Prince George's birthday. But our lovely Catherine, the Princes of Wales, and Prince George, in my opinion, were the real winners. Catherine released a brand new photo of Prince George that she took earlier this month at Windsor. The Princess of Wales posted this directly to her social media accounts, bypassing the British media. Now, I absolutely love this because now Prince William and Catherine are taking control and full ownership of their own photographs. So now the British media can no longer make money off of their photographs. I would say ultimately Team Wells has won this round. Now we are entering into a very tricky season, political season in America, and Kamala Harris is now the Democratic choice for president. So you know that Meghan Markle is chomping at the bit to be seen and heard in the world of U.S. politics. She does have a connection to Kamala and, of course, other people in power like her bestie, Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, who recently came out and defended Archwell Foundation by lying to the press, proclaiming they do the Lord's work and that their fleeting nonprofit is in good standing, although their tax records say otherwise. But now rumor has it Meghan Markle is vying for attention to be on the worldwide stage and endorse Kamala Harris. But could this be the final nail in the coffin for Meghan and her royal titles? Now we know back in 2020, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry got into some hot water when they jumped on social issues regarding race with George Floyd. They did some commercials encouraging people to get involved, go out and vote for the 2020 election. And when Meghan Markle lobbied to Congress with the Parental Leave Act by using her official Duchess of Sussex 
letterhead. But Megan really wants to be more involved with this possible historic election. And many believe she wants to put her foot in the door of politics, trying to jump the queue and fast track her career. Sources say she's looking for opportunities to be involved in Kamala Harris's campaign and to be photographed with her. Maybe even a chance to host a fundraiser or a major political event, you know, a side of work salad and chicken and a microphone and Kamala Harris would literally be Meghan Markle's narcissistic wet dream come true. Harry and Meghan are already on thin ice with their constant attacks on the royal family, their fake royal tours to New York City and Nigeria, and now getting involved once again in U.S. politics. Could this finally be the moment that would make Harry and Meghan lose their Duke and Duchess of Sussex title? What do you guys think? Do you think Meghan Markle is going to put herself out there and start endorsing Kamala Harris? Leave me your comments, guys, down below. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.